Wisdom School of Conjuration must be chosen. Join me for a reload of Level 1 Protection Fire Spirit Conjure Course, Friday, October 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, must be chosen. Part 2 of Level 1 Conjuring Fire through the arts of writing and petition the correct way. Saturday, October 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, must be chosen. There are limited spots available. Check out what my students are saying about Wisdom School of Conjuration. What is good? Bull gang, gang, gang. Yes. We in this motherfucker. What is good? Taurus says, yes, evolving wisdom is here for that dark energy. Whole month read, okay? I'm going to give you a rundown of what the whole month is going to be, bulls. Okay, however, y'all, please hit that like, subscribe, leave your girl a tip, and your mom is appreciated, bulls. If you guys would like to get in on the school of Wisdom School of Conjuration, which the course, the first, the two courses that's going on this month here, which is on the 15th and 16th here, we have a level one reload. So if you guys know you didn't get in on the first course of fire conjuring and you want to learn about more about protecting yourself through the arts of fire here, you will want to get in how ever you must be chosen and there's just a brief description on what you need to um how you can go about and get getting you know to be chose also i have a level one part two for a lot of my classmate members um who um, joined the course two weeks ago you guys already know what the deal with that is but also if you guys know hey i'm a little bit aware of you know how to connect with the fire but I want to get, do more of the petition writing in the correct way, okay? That is something you guys can also look into to get in on. That course is on the 16th of this month, all right? Also, you guys, if you like a personal reading or any information on my spiritual services and products, you already know how to fucking find me, okay? Because I'm everywhere in the motherfucking cosmos, chilling. Alright, boys, let's jump into y'all motherfucking read and see what the fuck is really going on. Wisdom School of Conjuration must be chosen. Join me for a reload of Level 1 Protection Fire Spirit Conjure Course, Friday, October 15th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Must be chosen. Part two of level one conjuring fire through the arts of writing and petition the correct way. Saturday, October 16th at 7 p.m. Easter Standard Time. Must be chosen. There are limited spots available. Check out what my students are saying about Wisdom School of Conjuration. I don't know what this is, you guys, but it seems like my Zodiacs, the ones I have been doing already, which is Gemini and Sagittarius, you guys go check that out if you have strong placements in that or not, you know, you may want to spy in on your lover, whatever the case is, do your thing. You guys, there's a decision that you need to make, okay? There's some choices, some things that you need to make and you need to go ahead and do it, okay? You already know what it is. Some of you guys are like, I already know. You need to do it, whether it's moving, whether it's looking for another job, whether it's whatever this is that you know you've been pushing off, you've been procrastinating your ass on here. Either quit making excuses for it and just go ahead and do it because there is, is a tower moment coming. My bad, bulls. I don't know what that was going on. However, bulls, you need to make a decision here on which way you want to go here, okay? If you guys don't make the decision, it will be made for you here and it won't be as pleasing as it is knocking down that fucking tower your own self here okay you need to make some decisions here and make the choices best choice for yourself here okay because i do see some little chaos coming in around you guys here but there's victory once you just make your mind up there's victory there's a lot of abundance coming in is this something that's changed out of you guys life here something that's been on on um 
that's within your guys, you guys' energy for a minute here, okay? There's something that needs to change, and I really feel like some of you guys is dealing with some type of soul tie here, and some of you guys is just with your life situation. Like, some of you guys are really just on the fence here about your career, you know, you're not happy in whatever town you are in. Some of you guys are just not happy with your family here. It's just some things that needs to change. Some of you guys is with your health also too here, okay? Some of you guys um, take in too much MSG. So whatever your food, you guys need to re-educate yourself here on the ingredients here, okay? Some of you guys may be having a lot of migraines. And it's not all, it has nothing to do with spiritual attacks. You just take in too much MSG, okay? If you know what MSG, to me, I think that's, it's the research I have done off of it, I done on MSG, which is years ago here. I always thought it was like a spell. I'm like, this is like magic, which it does. You know that commercial you get, once you pop, you can't stop here, that Pringles commercial, because why? Because it's got MSG in there, okay? MSG tricks the mind and makes you kind of crave, keep, continuously crave that food or want that food or want that burger okay to me that's a, that's magic okay it makes you crave and you don't even want it or you don't even you know feel like you need it but you're for some reason you're cra craving that big mac or you're craving those pringles or that chips or that kool-aid okay whatever it is here is mostly i find it a lot in ranch and um a lot of boxed and um food and things and chips and shit like that okay so that's coming in maybe for one or two of you guys here. So just be be watchful of that here. Money is coming, finances um, coming in here. For some of you guys may already be receiving. Some of you guys think money is coming in at this time, but it's coming in a little early for you guys here. Some of you guys are owed money from your previous job or some type of lawsuit or something's coming through for you guys very fast here i'm also picking up aquarius energy around you guys some of you guys may be dealing with an aquarius here or have it deep in your chart here but there's some money due to you here okay some of you guys is from a, a relative here who passed over and the money is due to you and your children or the children the grandchildren Okay, some of you guys may not know this, this relative, or some of you guys may heard of this relative but never was in their present, but the money has been that the, the wheel has been held up for a while. I think some, some people may have been fighting over it or secretly fighting over it here, but it's because the money is due to you and the children. Okay, or just the grandchildren. Introducing my big money Grigri bags, uniquely handcrafted to fit your needs. A powerful money magnet. Gain success in all financial matters. For more information on my big money Grigri bags, please go to EvolvingWisdom5.com. If you want change, boys, you got to do it. You got to make the decisions. Okay? You got to make the decisions here. Well, some of you guys got some strife coming in here, okay? It's some, some, it's, to me, it's like a tower moment coming in here. That's why I'm like, you guys, you know what you need to be doing here. Prepare for this energy here. You can prepare for it by knocking down the tower yourself here. Like, don't let shit catch you off guard. Boy, somebody wants to catch your ass off guard, Okay? Someone about you, somebody wants to get you slipping, okay? So if some of you guys got some beef going on in the court systems and shit like that or whatever here, make sure you got your paper lined up and your, your eyes dotted and keep your um, attorney too on point too. Make sure they really pay attention to your case, okay? You know how bulls we can be when it comes to some type of case and shit like that. A lot of us here, sometimes you may know more information than your attorney is gathering. So make sure you up on his ass or her ass, whatever. Okay, and it may be a lot of strife within that here. I, I, I'm not seeing like that you guys are going to win if you guys are battling here. It's a lot. It's, it's an ongoing thing going on here. I just want to make make sure you guys got your eyes dotted and your T's crossed. Someone is stealing your. Someone watches you guys. Whoever are out here on social media, somebody watches you so they can steal your content. Or they can steal, they can try to, they change the words up and, and do these things here, but they're getting all that information from you. Okay. 
I already seen that shit. I see, I be seeing motherfuckers out here. I don't say nothing. I just be like, mm, okay, you ain't involved in wisdom. Okay, you're not involved in wisdom. However, you guys, someone watches you just to steal your content. Damn, somebody just can't be themselves. Gotta look all that your shit. Or, it, or it's coming. If you guys are planning on getting on, on out there on social media, it is what it is. It comes with the fucking territory. Motherfuckers be stealing people shit. They don't know how to be themselves. They ain't not confident within themselves. So they go steal other people's content. Or they try to switch it up. Whoever this energy is, they switch it up a little bit. So, so no one outside of that really catches on to it. Someone is desperate to come back to you, boys. Someone is desperate to get your attention or someone is desperate to come back. They're trying to figure out how can they sneak their greasy motherfucking greasy head ass back into your life. Some of y'all that really grew up and like you not even thinking. Some of you guys, this is the energies for some of you guys who are not thinking about this person. Don't have gotten over this energy. Don't have them in your mind. Don't have them in your your in nowhere in your space of spiritual energy here. They they trying to figure out like how can I fucking I mean this person so evolved now they totally different because they different because you they nowhere near in your timeline. That's why they're different. Some of you guys, this is family. Some of you guys are realizing you were like the the matriarch of your family. You don't want to really keep shit together. You were the, oh, I don't care if you're dealing with a fifth-year-old, seven-year-old woman, male, father, whatever. You were the mature one. You have the knowledge. Get understanding, bulls. So you guys need to get understanding of the situation here. You need to, you need to get organized. You need to start getting up on your shit here, bulls. And I'm not talking about like, oh, you need to pick up more hours. Oh, you need to do that. I'm talking about there's some change, something that needs to be done here. And you and, and, and it's there, like it's being presented to you here. You need to get up on it and start getting your shit together here. Okay, boys? Stagnation with finances is over here. Some of you guys are there's a reward coming to you here. Be take control of your money also to bulls here. Make sure you are not overspending here. Put your finances up here, boys. Don't overshop, boys, this month. Do not. Don't, don't be getting all like, take care of yourself. You know, women, men, whatever. You know, take care of yourself. Be beautiful and everything. But don't overdo it. Go in the closet and find some shit that you already have up in there. Okay? Some of you guys, I feel that some of you guys like to shop. Some of my ladies. I know, boys. I know. We don't like to hear that. However, boys, take control of your finances here, okay? If you got a lot of inflow of money coming in for you guys who've been doing your damn thing and been showing up and showing out on your changing your life around here. Some of you guys, wherever town you in is dead, okay? And it's dead to your energy. You are not supposed to be whatever location you're at right now and you know you feel you feel very it, just, it doesn't fit you anymore. You know that you need to be moving. Some of y'all are way across to another country. <laughs> Some of y'all want to move to another country here. Some of y'all just want to get the fuck away here. I do also feel self-sufficient. Like some of you guys want to rely on yourself. Like be really self-sufficient here when it comes to not having to like getting your own land here or not having to depend on, you know, the city life here. Like really, really having real stability here. I feel like that is coming for the future here, but there's a few more things here you need to get intact here. So you guys need to start looking at your credit. You need to start taking advantage of this energy here, got like student loans and things. I don't know if they still got those things on hold or whatever, but you start really need to start looking through your credit, and, you know, seeing what you can do to get some of these things off of the negative um, inquiries off of your credit. And there is ways you can do that. Just research. You don't even have to pay that, that money. Okay. You don't have to wait. So I think it's seven years when those things fall off. Sometimes they be putting that shit right back up on there after seven years. So, however, there's ways for you to get those um, negative inquiries off of your credit the right way. It may take one or two times. I mean, may, longer than that. Okay. It may take three to five times 
but you gotta do it. You gotta get it going. Or use magic. <laughs> Boys, for you, you ones who have, an, um, you know, you, you just got you a car, or you just, you know, you got, you getting stability back together and everything here, watch out. I see someone slicing your tires here. Okay, or becoming angry here, slicing your tires, or fucking doing something with your tires here. Okay, some of you guys here may need to put money aside here to get new tires on your car here. Some of you guys may ride or um, drive over some nails or something here that busts a tire here in the front. I see, and something is in the back. So, y'all need to check your tires here. I don't know, y'all, some of y'all been riding around on some, some tires that got all types of shit all in it. Okay. Some of you bulls here are going back to health again here. Some of y'all need to get uh, take care of your health a little better. Some of you guys here may be trying to take care of your health and, re, you know, re revise your, your diet and everything here. But some of you guys let the shit get too far along here. There's a lot of things going on and it's going to get worse here. Some of you guys got things in your body here that's eating up the body here and it's about the trans. And some of it is already... It's toxic. It's toxic energy. It's like an invasion of the body here. When you're talking about cancer, you're talking about tumors, you're talking about, you know, these different things here. It's like invading your body here. And eventually it starts fucking with your mind here. It's like your brain is not getting enough oxygen here. There's not enough blood cells, um, red blood cells going into the brain to get the oxygen here. You guys need to make sure you are really sticking up on a health routine along with your physician here. Okay, so because you may, you may just let the shit get too far. Okay, I feel like at one point in time you was told to detox, like really go on a cleanse here. Some of you guys may need it to shrink whatever this is is in your body here. I feel I see a lot of invasions, a lot of um, I don't know what this is here, but I feel like at one point in time you guys was told you need to go on a detox, and you didn't do it. You may did it for a day or two. I feel some things going on with the mind from that, those letting that shit get too far out of hand. You've just been taking pills. You've just been taking medicine here. Switch your physician up here, okay? All right, um, bulls, let's get into something else here. <sighs> What's going on here with my bulls? What's going on here with my bulls here? Okay? All eyes on you, okay? Spirit is watching you. Boys, okay. You have the you have the um the resources to create your own world here, boys. And I think you know that. I feel like you know that, boys. Here, okay. I feel like you are really, really standing in mature energy here. Like, what do I need to do? Fuck all the emotions, and I don't want to leave this job. I don't want to move and everything. What really do I need to be doing here? Okay. You may need to be making a plan. I need to be getting organized here. I need to be doing something. Okay. Something needs to be getting, you need to be getting going with something here, boys. Be grateful also, boys. Be grateful. Be grateful. Okay? Yeah, there's a little, little hiccups coming in. Um, in the month of October here. However, I do feel like you, like there's no need to worry. I feel like my bulls are in, like I'm not worried. I just need to know what I need to handle here and get up on it. There's a sense of, some of you guys may have a sense of peace over your body or just over your situation here. Like, I got this. I can do this. Whatever this is, whatever challenges come up, I got it. Okay? Spirit got me. Spirit got me. <laughs> All right, bulls. Oh boy, some of y'all got some imprisonment energy coming in. Some of y'all got some imprisonment energy coming in, boys. Okay. What's going on here? With this? Feeling defeated. Okay. A lot of financial abundance here, boys. Okay, for some of you guys here, y'all got money coming in. Okay. If y'all do the right things here, y'all got a lot of finances coming in here. Don't get, don't get, uh, don't get caught up in some seducer type of energy. Don't get caught up in someone seducing you or throwing you off of your path here or coming back around to you. Don't get caught up in that, okay? 
There's some disappointment. There's money being made here, but there's still some disappointments coming in. Some of you guys may have some things that you want or you want to um, stay keep stable here. There's not going to go through here. Finances look good here. As long as you manage your resources and everything, I feel like mostly... 99% of the time, everything has to do with some type of money or um, not all the time. You get the time with love and everything, but I feel like this more with your stability here. There may be some disappointments, but it's time for you to move on something here, okay? Use the power that's within you here to move still out of the situation here, okay? You are the matriarch energy here, okay? Cycles are about to end. Some of y'all got some cycles ending here. Let's get into something else here, boys. What's going on here with my boys? What do my boys need to know? A lot of luck coming in with your finances here, okay? But there is something you guys are not seeing. Or some of you guys may see it here, but it's like you're not going to move on it. I mean, I need to, your ancestors is giving you guys a message here. The spirit energy around you is letting you know there's something you need to get going. You need to move. And I feel like it's something with foundation or stability here. Okay? Nine of coins energy here. Don't let, so you have got a ruthless energy around you guys here who either wants your attention here or, or you're dealing with now. Okay, you're pouring too much in this person, Pour, pouring too much or you have given too much to a situation, a romantic situation, and you need to let this person go. Don't let no one come back around here and don't let someone in who just ain't really playing with it all. Because whoever this person is here, I feel like a Libra energy here is also picking up here. Okay, but there is some chaos energy coming in here. Loss of something. Okay, get out the illusions. Okay, use your intuition. Boys, what y'all got? Y'all got some illusion on something here. Or you're not seeing things clearly with something here. Some of you guys is a union. Some of y'all are gonna get y'all gonna lose a lot of stability here. Like, it seems like it's something with this energy, whatever relationship y'all got, or it's gonna make you so lose stability. Because this person is just not on the energetic level here, spiritual level that you need them to be. They're going to come off maybe two-faced in. They're like they're double-faced in here. Like they're not who they say they are. Or they, they're presenting, you may think, oh, this person is everything. This is marriage, this is something. And then you're going to see that this person, like you're not going to be very stable in your everyday life here. The conversation may be good. This person still may be taking you off. But you're going to notice things become stagnant in your life. Okay, be careful, you guys, also with STDs, um, bulls. Okay, snakes, snakes around you, bulls. Bulls, y'all got some snakes around you, somebody watching you, somebody in your life here, friends, people you've known before, people you close to. People you think got your back be talking behind your back. Somebody, people be talking, and it could be family also too, but I feel like to some of you guys, this is friendships here. What's going on here? Some of y'all cut off some type of con connection with someone here. I feel spiritually. Some of you guys not giving somebody some type of attention that they're used to getting from you here. They feed off of that. And sometimes they ride, they, you know, they, they get it, they get a kick out of making you angry so they can feed off of that energy here. Like you're showing some type of attention if they push your buttons. You may not show no attention no other time, but when this person says something out the way here and, and, and it, it feeds them. Like, oh, oh, they still care. No, motherfucker, I'm just standing up for myself. I don't care. Okay, some of you guys need to keep some campfire energy going on here. Okay, you already know, join my Wisdom School of Conjuration if you want to know about protection and protecting yourself here. Okay, yeah, some of y'all got a karmic, toxic fucking energy around you. Friendship, family, or lovers. Okay, your finances, cutting cords. Some of y'all got a whole fucking group of cut. I, 
date bulls. Y'all just be having motherfuckers on you guys. Some of y'all created this shit. And some of you guys mind your own damn business. Motherfuckers just hate it. Jealous. Some of you guys out here on social media here. And you got motherfuckers who just want to try you. Who just want to see. Okay? I picked I pick that up heavily for you guys here. But you're moving in another direction here. Or needing to move in another direction here. Stand up for yourself. Don't let just anybody come in and woo you here. And tell you. Some of y'all got a hating ass fucking relationship y'all with. The person that's jealous and envious of you here. Do, do not want to see you evolve. Okay? Some of you guys are not with this person anymore here. But they don't want to see you evolve without them here. And when you did have them in your life here. They still was a, very supportive. Okay, finding out the truth here, okay, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to those vibes, okay, mm. all right, let's get into something else here, because the sister is hungry, and I do not like to channel when I'm hungry, okay, all right, well, let's, let's see. <clears throat> okay, what do my boys need to know? What do my boys need to know? You guys, please hit that like. Leave your girl a tip. Any amount is appreciated, boys. Okay. All right. You got a lot of help from above. Okay. You guys do. You guys got a lot of spiritual help. That's so why I'm like, are y'all listening? Are you listening, boys? Like, are you listening? Not with the ears. Not with the, the physical ears here, but the spiritual ears. It's time to go. You gotta you gotta move. You gotta shake. You gotta keep moving. You, you got the help that's coming through here. Don't fall into temptation. Somebody gonna put your light out, or somebody already put your lights out. Put that, that glow out. Have patience. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, you guys. It's, it's time for you guys to go on a new path. How teachable are you? How are you? Are you really ready to believe in the gut feeling that's in you here? And stop second guessing yourself. And then when you get your ass and when the tower come here, you're like, damn. I, I was already shown this. I knew it. But I still wanted to just to see. Okay? You guys got to get, get going here. Okay? You all alchemy. You are the phoenix rising here. You can do this, bulls. Whatever this is, take hold of it like a fucking the bull of the horns or whatever. Get going. Okay? I'm going to get into your astral here, okay? A lot of inner things. Let go. Let go of the past. Okay? A lot of healing comes from you really letting go. So, I mean, I got a lot of hunting of energies from the past still. And I don't care if the past is four months ago, okay? You made a decision then, but it may be time for you to change your pop-up decision. Okay? A lot of energy still hunting you here. Cycles is something that's coming to an end. There's a new cycle coming from you guys here. And it's going to be beautiful if you allow it to be. If you allow it to be, boys. All right? All right. Let me get a few cars from here. Okay, you are just getting started, boys. Be patient with yourself. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. I think you guys got this before. The old must be released, boys, before the new can come in here. What's going on here with my boys? What? Everybody here. Let me shuffle again. Y'all got the Leo and Taurus. And Gemini and Sagittarius got Leo. First card came out here. But it's the showstopper here. You are beautiful. You are brave. You are that lion energy here, okay? And then you guys got your own cards here, Taurus energy here, comfort, luxury, living, and this is what's going to, if you avoid this tower moment and you really pay attention to your intuition and what you need to be doing, as difficult as it may be here, you guys will get this. You guys will get the life of luxury. You guys will get the peace. You guys will get the, the understanding of what who you are and what you have been through and why those things transpired in your life here. But it takes some type of um, devotion. Okay, Vista, sacred, sexuality, fertility, Kundalini, evolving. 
Ebar, it's time for you guys to see Ebar. Okay, Aries energy, 12th house, the subconscious here. Okay, there's a breakthrough coming through for you guys here. Uranus energy, thing, something is changing. Something is, is moving on. Something is evolving in you guys' life here. So take it. All right, you guys. If you guys like a personal reading or any information on my spiritual services and products, you guys already know how to fucking find me. Okay, and this is Evolving Wisdom. And yes, I'm here and I'm still evolving.